Ryan. Victor Mendolia is the founder of Hudson Resistance, and he was also the Hudson Democratic Chair for nearly a decade. Victor is going to speak to us about Fazo's voting record. Hey everybody, thanks for being here. So I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the votes that have been taken already. He, as on, on uh, women's reproductive health care, uh, on the Planned Parenthood bill, the uh, resolution 43, he actually voted not with the Republicans and voted to, to keep it. But, but on the other hand, he voted for HR 7, which, which is, which is the uh, with no federal funding for abortion services. It bans federal dollars from being applied to health coverage plans that include abortions. So guess what? That that affects that affects that affects particularly women who are in the lower in the lower groups of the lower. Um, you know, um, it makes the Hyde Amendment permanent. It prevents the, the District of Columbia from using locally their own locally generated tax revenue to offer abortion services in in, in the District of Columbia. So that, that that's it's ridiculous. And it requires insurance companies to prominently disclose which plans offer abortion coverage in order to basically discourage people from buying those plans. <laughs> on environmental, on the environment and fossil fuels, he voted yes on H HJ Resolution 38, which repealed the EPA stream protection rule. It's crazy. It's not. It's not 19. It's not 1917. It's 2017. Who, who's for dumping? Toxic waste in, in streams is just nuts. <laughs> On corruption in fossil fuels, he voted yes for HJ Resolution 41, which which eliminates the rule, the, the SEC rule, to that have people disclose payments to foreign governments for fossil fuel extraction. It's nuts. It's, it's, it's meant to it's meant to it's meant to prevent corruption. And it, and, it, and it will lead to corruption. It's really just to protect his, his uh, uh, Secretary of State, of course. Um, and he also voted yes on a, on a welfare and unemployment insurance bill that, that, is, that gives the states freedom to test drug test welfare recipients. It's, it's outrageous. You know, it's, it's, instead of treating, instead of treating Instead of treating substance abuse as the, as, the, as the public health problem it is, they're going to just create more penalties. It's not it's, it's counterproductive. And if they want, and yeah, and if they want, and if they want to drug test welfare, that means they should drug test themselves. They seem like they're on drugs, right? Drug test Trump. So these 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 folks don't represent the values of John Fassner's constituents. We're here. We're telling him that. They represent big business donors and they and the far right religious zealots. Now they say, now they say that they say that elections have consequences and they do. We know that, but they also but also votes in Congress have consequences as well. And failing to meet with your constituents at town hall meetings on, at public on the record meetings because all of his meetings that he wants, you know his little small meetings that he says he's holding they're not on the record they're not, they are they, they, he doesn't allow you to record anything while you're in there and so and so he can say anything he wants there we want him to stand up in public in front of people and say what he stands for. <laughs> And the, and the consequences for John Faso for not for not showing up and for not and for voting with this right wing conspiracy to, to, to tear this country apart, there are going to be consequences for him too, and they and and they will be that we got, we will continue to be out on the streets planning and in our, and planning in our community rooms and being inspired in our houses of worship about the real meaning of, of our faith, and but most of all we will work harder than ever that we've ever worked before to put an end to this nightmare that Donald Trump has, re has, has unleashed in this country. And we will...
and to make John Fassa a one-term congressman. That's why we love Victor. One-term Fasso. One-term Fasso. One-term Fasso. One-term Fasso. You know he can hear us, right? <laughs> Okay, so I've been told people in the back can't hear, so I'm going to ask whoever is speaking or performing to shout. Does that help? <laughs> okay, um, also I forgot to mention we also have a uh, new website, and it's called cd19indivisible.org. Our next speaker, entertainer, has so many talents and goes by so many different names that I'm not even going to attempt to name this group. Please welcome Cassidy Mays. <laughs> 